in today's video, we will be making this. Homemade deodorant. <laughs> different um, instead of crochet sewing like we have on our intro there we'll do the and more part um, Mumsy is allergic to most beauty products I'm allergic to makeup so I don't really wear makeup I'm kind of allergic to the deodorant now so today we're gonna show you how to make some homemade deodorant in case you're allergic or in case you want a little bit of an organic kind of uh, deal. So I've got all the ingredients here, hopefully it'll work. Um, basically, my deodorant is only three ingredients, four, the fourth one is optional. Um, I use coconut oil, I use cornstarch, and I use baking soda. And we'll put that up um, Maybe I can get awesome dude to put a little placard up with the yeah <laughs> with the uh, ingredients so you can see and we'll also put it in the uh, description below. Anyway, it's really a simple process. We're going to turn the stove on here in a saucepan and we've got this big tub of coconut oil. For deodorant wise, we don't need that much, but we do need to melt it because it works a little bit better with combining ingredients. So I put some in there. We'll probably do about two of these. Just so I have enough, I mix it to the way I like it. So I, it usually comes out as a bit of a lotion rather than on a stick, because we don't have a stick to, to uh, do it. So I'm gonna put that all in there and melt it a little. So it's on medium right now and it's melting. And I'll show you what it comes out look, looking like. This is, I'm almost out. So I'll just show you. It comes out like this and I just kind of get a little cream and put it on. Unfortunately, the way I make it, it comes out a little white. You might have some white issues. I don't know how to fix that. But anyway, I think Awesome Dude is going to show you this melting in here. He's going to pick up that camera and show you here there see and so all we do is melt it down into a little messy you know watery oily thing so we're going to melt that whole thing down and in the meantime while we're waiting on that awesome dude can set that up how he likes <laughs> and here are the ingredients we've got baking soda and I don't have the baking soda box to show you but you all know what baking soda looks like and it's a quarter cup and I'm gonna put that into a bowl I'm also have a quarter cup cornstarch now baking soda and cornstarch are both very absorbent materials also and the, um, baking soda also has sort of an antibacterial. Oh, there! Awesome dude brought it here. If you don't know, um, uh, baking soda also has an antibacterial uh, quality to it. So that's what we use for, for the uh, natural ingredients in there. And we'll just mix that up. And we're going to add the uh, oil soon. Now the fourth ingredient is right here. I use vegan scent. Now I ordered this off of Etsy, I believe, long ago. It's pumpkin pie flavored, but is or f flavored, scented. I don't think you want to eat it, although it is vegan, so you could. The uh, only ingredients in it are all um, very saff it's a safflower seed oil, like very coconut oil again. So it's very. Uh, uh, organic and friendly and I just put a few drops in there just so that my uh, deodorant smells like pumpkin pie and you should smell it right now it smells amazing <laughs> it smells like we're doing some baking oh I love it you just put a few drops of your favorite you can also put essential oils in there whatever you like to make it smell good I don't recommend the commercial perfumes they don't really work very well with this I tried once and it ended up being um very 
uh, thick, like it didn't um, melt very well, and 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 it was very hard to rub on, and and I didn't like it. So anyway, it's all melted. I'll show you that. You can kind of see there. Oh, there, awesome doodle. Move it forward. See, it's all melted, and it's got the uh, the vegan scent in there too. It smells lovely. <laughs> And all we do next is we combine it into our quarter cup cornstarch and our quarter cup baking soda. And I basically combine just a little at a time until I get the right consistency. And I'll show you the consistency once I get it done. I like it really, really kind of um, almost like a runny lotion uh, right now because we're going to put it in the fridge for a little while and the coconut oil will then um, solidify a little bit more and so you want it to come out as a lotion later on so it'll get harder in the fridge so you'll want it pretty runny right now <laughs> so I'll stir all of that up and it's pretty runny right now but we'll uh do a little bit more, a little bit more. Just, oh, that might be a bit too much. Man, that smells good. Oh, awesome dude says it smells good, doesn't it smell like a pumpkin pie? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it smells really good. So here's what it'll look like when it's done. It's pretty watery right now, um, but that's how we want it because, it, because the uh, coconut oil will solidify in the fridge a little bit and we want it to come out like like lotion like this where it's kind of a creamy lotion we want it to be pliable if you make it a little bit thicker it'll come out more like actual deodorant where you need a stick to roll it on and i find that's really hard to do because i don't actually have one of those like stick things to put it in i don't know i don't know if you can buy them but i should look into that <laughs> Anyway, so we're going to put it in a nice pretty container where we want our deodorant to be. It looks like I'm making up a witch's brew or something, honestly. <laughs> I kind of like that. But anyway, a very nice, organic, beautiful smelling deodorant. I uh, actually work in a scent-free environment, but I find that this... In small doses you won't smell too strong you'll just have that little hint somebody else tell you you smell like cookies <laughs> which is actually a compliment I think anyway there we go we have it all in there see it's kind of like liquidy and watery right now but we're going to go put that in the fridge and oh yeah all our stuff in the fridge you don't need to see all that <laughs> At least we don't have any science experiments in there today <laughs> and then that's it I usually leave it in there for a couple of hours then take it out you can put it in your bathroom cabinet or wherever you need and uh, eventually it'll kind of thaw a little bit and it'll be really pliable like this lotion here and then you just rub it under your arms every day and there you have it and you know it's all organic and um, you could actually eat it if you wanted, but I don't think you really want to. It probably tastes really bad, but uh, there you have it. Um, because I'm allergic, it doesn't give me any uh, th any uh, problems. So uh, I also make homemade feminine products because I'm allergic to the the store bought ones too. So if you guys are interested, I can show you how to do that as well in a future video. Just let me know down below in the comments if there's some interest for that or not. I can also upload the patterns and everything I do onto a website and you can uh, check it out from there. Um, I'll also put all the ingredients and the uh, recipe and what to do with it if you didn't catch it from the whole three ingredients thing. And uh, that's about it. So as usual, like this video, comment, subscribe, click the little notifications thing. I hear awesome dude says that it's called like some sort of like notification squad now if you click on that. So <laughs> I don't know what that's about, but anyway, try that. And uh, bye bye for now.